There's an amazing new business in Nelson, BC. It's called the Art Rush Gallery at 471A Baker Street. Let's go down and meet the owner. Well, now we're going to meet the co-owner of Art Rush Gallery, Ting Yuen. Her and her partner, Paul Morell, just opened up this gallery. It's, uh, what's the address here, Ting? 471A Baker Street. 471A Baker Street. I am just blown away and so impressed by the volume of your art here and the quality. Most of this is your art, right? That's correct. Thank you. Well, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? You just moved to Nelson, is that I right? I just moved to Nelson a month and a half ago and opened this gallery. Love Nelson. Uh, my husband and I are into traveling, so but Nelson has always been in our heart. And we've been checking out Nelson for quite a few years and finally got in and we're so excited because this looks like just a fantastic community. Well, it looks to me like you're going to fit in here perfectly because Nelson, as you know, is the number one small arts community in Canada. That's right. That's so perfect. Yes. Okay. Well, let's go have a look at some okay, of your Okay, Tang, I see you have just... How many pieces of art do you have in here? I've got 80 pieces. That's hung on the wall right now. 80? 80 pieces. Yes. And tell us about the medium that you use. I use acrylic, mainly acrylic on canvas. And uh, some of these 80 pieces, I would say maybe there's the 20 of them are actually reproductions. Reproductions. So the rest are originals. And this is the first time I'm able to showcase um, a wide variety of my work that's even started in 1998. Because of my wonderful high ceiling, I'm able to take advantage of that. It's beautiful. Thank you. Let's take a little stroll around here. I see you've taken your art. And you've applied it to so many different mediums. I see cards and prints and bags and That's boxes. Right. Let's go through here. Tell us a little bit well, about some of this stuff. Well, the genre of my art is uh, figurative. And they are, I would say they're dreamscapes. They're very storytelling. Each one has a story that goes with it. Uh, because they're very personal, they work well as gifts as well. So I've got art cards. I've got um, tote bags. Oh, these also are lovely too. Journals. So are these silk screen over here, Tang? How do no, you do this? these are actually printed. They're printed. Um, yeah, they're printed with a machine that's like a heat press. Beautiful. And it's printed on both sides. They're washable as well. Boy, so you can go shopping in style when that's you have right. your art on yeah. there. Yeah, and Paul makes these for me. And Paul does all the cards as well. So he really is the the person in the back that does all my work. Ah, so it's real teamwork it's real here. That's, and what are these that's here? These are journals? Yeah, I've got journals and I've got uh, gift boxes, again. keepsakes boxes. I got um, small reproductions and large reproductions as well. And each one comes with a little story. Perfect. It tells you all about it and what inspires me to paint them. It's wonderful. Let's meander down here and show us some more. And I also have um, ceramic art coasters. Person oh, I see. On tiles. That's right. And these, again, they come with little stories. These are beautiful, too. I got my purse mirrors. They come in a little pouch so you can put in your purse. Gorgeous. They make great Christmas gifts, actually. Gorgeous. And I also have uh, magnets. Art magnets. Totally surrounded by gorgeous art. It just oh, feels so good you. in here. Thank you. And what do we have here, you say? Oh, magnets, magnets now. Beautiful stuff. Okay, lead the way, Ting. Let's okay. look at some more. And then things. my husband and I also make a line of jewelry as well. You make a line of jewelry? That's correct. You mean to tell me all this jewelry here you guys have made? I would say 70% of them, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. And we love using gemstones, bone and horn, anything that's a natural material. I can feel that in your gallery here. It has a real natural feel. The fabrics, you. all your artwork. What about these hats here? These hats are brought in. We have some artists from Montreal, oh. uh, Andre, and he makes some of the hats. And then we also have some LA designers. And Beautiful. our wonderful purses are from a lady called Sue Fem, and she's from Montreal. Yeah, and she's concubine. So you have a French connection, I see. Um, yeah, my husband's French Canadian. Oh. We started in Montreal. When we came back from the Cayman Islands, we went to Montreal. We started the jewelry line there. I see. Okay, great. You really have a good understanding of colors. Most of your paintings are so rich and warm and have a lot of feeling in them. Mm. Well, they are definitely... You know, I guess what is it that inspires you to do all these paintings? I see you paint a lot of humans. 
Yeah, when I started painting, um, my husband got into a car accident, and so I was kind of depressed. And Paul said, you know, you have always wanted to paint, so let's go and grab you some paint brushes and paint. And I started painting the diary. So it started from the diary, and I painted how I felt, and about our two little lovebirds that passed away. You know, and those, they're about, I would say, I started with 12. Unfortunately, they got destroyed because I put them up in the attic and they got moldy and I had to burn them. But they were very personal. And so I just continued. It just became a huge diary and that's why it just keeps going on and on. Because life continues and I grow as a person. And actually, if you look at some of my artwork, like Home Sweet Home, which is an older piece, it's 1998. Which one is Home Sweet Home up here? Girl with the White Clouds. Okay, let's go and have a look at that one. Yes, what about it? Well, she's young. She's oh, very young. I see, And yes. as you see, my work progresses, like this one, uh, the night owl, she's a grown-up person now. She grows as I grow, I think. So when I get older and older, I, I would say she's going to get older and older. So your art is actually a living journal, a living yeah, diary. it's a living journal. Exquisite. They kind of... Gorgeous. Yeah, all these girls sort of represent me. And then they also, it's about life and dreams, right? Just gorgeous. But things that everybody relate to because I believe that we all sort of like mirror images of each other, you know? And I like your stands too, the way you're displaying, Thank your jewelry, you. the colors that you've chosen in here. Thanks. It's hard to believe that this is the old, part of the old McLaughlin building. You completely transformed it into just Thank a gorgeous you. gallery of exquisite art. A wonderful addition to Nelson's Thanks. artistic community. Well, this is truly wonderful. Okay, well, Ting, thank you very much for taking the time to let people know what you're doing here, and we're thank sure you. we'll be sure to get the word out. And tell me, what is your? Um, do you have a website? I certainly do. It's www.artrushgallery.com. Artrushgallery.com. Okay, well, thanks a lot for chatting with us, and thanks, um, I wish you all the success in all your endeavors. Thank you. You're so kind. Take care. Yeah, you too. Bye-bye.